Hey everyone, I'm Candace Porter. Today we're going to talk about using proofs in Smartsheet. I absolutely love this feature and I want to tell you a few things before I dive right in and show you a demo of how to do it. It's extremely simple and it's very helpful. It can save so much time emailing people around different files. So first and foremost, if you're going to use proofs in Smartsheet, you must have a Smartsheet business or enterprise account. So you have to have a business or an enterprise account in order to use this feature. And the owners, admins, and editors are the ones that are available to actually upload a proof for review. So you would need to be in an owner, admin, or editor role on a sheet in order to use this feature. You can upload a lot of different file types, which is great. So images, PDFs, videos, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word. You can also upload Microsoft Excel even. So the best news, all user types, including free users, have the opportunity to review the proofs and add feedback. So even if they aren't shared to your sheet, again, anyone can review it, including free users. They will need to put in their email account and log into Smartsheet, however, in order to do this. Smartsheet has a lot of different options. So reviewers, they can pin comments, they can make annotations, and they can actually go back and forth discussing feedback via a chat function specific to that proof. At any point, the owner, admins, and editors can upload another version into Smartsheet. And once they do that, the previous versions, they show up in view only mode. So note that. Uh, this is great. Again, it's going to save a lot of time. It offers a lot of collaboration, making sure that you're getting to the best solution. I'm going to go out there and demo this for you. I'm excited to do this. I will also remind you when we get into the sheet, you cannot request reviews of proofs if you're working within a sheet and there's a locked row specific to where you want to upload that proof. So you can lock rows if the specific row is locked and that's the one that you want to upload a proof to, you're not going to be able to do that. So I'll remind you as we get out there. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm going to share my screen here and we're going to walk through the whole proofing. You should be able to see my screen now. And I am working within a sheet here and it's called the marketing campaign plan. So this is a, this is a project within Smartsheet that I'm working in. And you'll see that I've got several different columns here. I've got the status column. So is this started? Is it complete? Is it in progress? Not started. Uh, we've also got the task name. So the work that's to be accomplished, who it's assigned to. You'll see start date, finish date, and predecessor task. So in order to use the predecessor task, it does need to be in the project sheet. A predecessor task is one that must come before another one. So pre-predecessor task. A task that follows another is called a successor task. We've got a duration column and a percent complete. So let's say I'm working within this project and we just completed the resourcing plan. So we just wrapped up kickoff and we're ready to move in to the next phase, the plan phase. I'm going to go ahead and start the theme decisions, marked it as in progress, and it's assigned to me, Candace Porter. Let's say that I've actively come up with three different themes, and I think they're really good. However, I'm working really closely with Kate on this one. And so I need to have her buy-in on these proofs and to let me know which one she likes best so that we can move forward and complete this task. 
When you're looking at the sheet, you're going to see over here on the left hand side that if you hover over a specific row, it gives you several options here. There is a paper clip with a little plus sign. That's if you want to attach a file to that row. So if I want to just attach a file to the row, I can do that. I can also comment related to this specific task. The next one, add a proof. That's the one that we're going to be working with today. And then the bell to the far right, that's where you can add a reminder. So I'm going to click on add a proof over here. Again, it is kind of the third one over from the left-hand side. And when I click on that, it is going to give me the option to either click the upload and select the file, or I can just drag and drop it. I think that's a really easy thing to do. I'm gonna drag a file out here. And again, the goal here is that I invite someone else or many people to come in and provide comments and let me know what they think of this particular proof. Give it a second once you upload it so that it can get in the system here. Here you go, here's the file I just uploaded. It was a PowerPoint file and it was three separate slides. I've got theme one here, theme two, and I've got theme three. I'm going to invite Kate to come and provide her comments. I have a couple of different options when it comes to inviting someone. I can click on this invite. So if you look over here on the right hand side where it has a little person and a plus sign and it says invite, I can click that. I can type in the name or the email of who I want to invite. I can customize the subject. So make it something really specific to who you want to invite. And then you can customize the message here. So if it's a vendor or if it's a customer or if it's someone you work with, you may want to customize the message to them and explain what you want them to do. You can add this little checkbox or remove it, allow reviewer to download the file. If you only want them to be able to make comments in Smartsheet, but not download the file, then go ahead and remove that check mark. If you don't care, you're okay. If they can download the file, go ahead and keep the check mark there. So again, you could type in name or email, custom subject line, a message, depending on if you want them to download the file or not, either check this box or remove it. If it's checked, they will be able to download it. You can then click send here and that'll send out an email for them. The other option, and this is the one that I tend to use the most, but it's very dependent upon your project and your situation, how you communicate with others. You can also just tag someone here. So I'm going to just tag Kate in this one and let her know what I want her to do because she is shared to the sheet. So Kate, please provide your feedback on the three themes I'm sharing, enter. She'll get a notification via Smartsheet to come out here and do that. So this is a really great opportunity and she can come out and provide her feedback directly in this version. Let me show you how cool this is because there's a few different things that you can do here. So you're going to see comment with a pen as one of them. So if I click on that option, I can click anywhere on here and provide a comment. So I just dropped a pen right on this camera lens. Love the camera. If I click enter there, I will see who the comment is from. I'll see that this is numbered. And if I click on that number when I'm reviewing feedback, it's going to highlight the comment and who it came from. So that's one option. I can go ahead and drop pens. The next one, comment on an area. So if I wanna comment on an area, it gives me the ability to drag a rectangle or a square over a specific area. And again, I can go ahead and leave a comment. Can we have darker pink for this particular area? There we go. 
Again, that's going to be numbered. It's gonna now have a two. If I wanna know what someone said about that area, it's gonna highlight the comment, can we have darker pink? The third one is to use an arrow. So I can drag and drop an arrow, point it to one particular thing. Love theme one. Again, if I click on that arrow, it's now got a number three on there. It is going to show me, okay, Candace loves theme one. So this is in a nutshell, all about proofing. And what you can also do, again, you have to be an editor or an admin or the owner of the sheet to do this. But you'll see how it says version one up here in the upper left-hand corner. You can do a drop down here. At any point, I can add a new version. So let's say I'm monitoring these comments as I go. I've invited several people to provide their thoughts. I am now going to add a new version. And again, I can just drag and drop a new version of it here. It's going to take just a moment to upload. It's up and going now, and it's gonna show up as version two here within Smartsheet. So now if I click on this little arrow pointing down, it says version two, which is the current version one is going to be a view only. So it's going to lock people. It won't allow them to provide any additional comments in version one. This is how we maintain version control. So I don't want people going back and commenting on older versions if I've already incorporated updates and feedback. So version two is now what it's defaulting to. If I click on version one, you'll see that it gives me this warning. Previous versions are closed to comments and review, although I can still look at these specific comments, who said them, cross check it, make sure all of those updates were incorporated. And now I'm gonna go back to the current version. And if I want to capture another round of feedback, then it's my opportunity to do so. I'm going to show you a few more things in the upper right-hand corner here. You can actually export. So it's the little square with the arrow pointing up. So you can open the proof in a new tab. You can download the proof or you can send to a brand folder. So here's some of the options here. We're not gonna get into detail on any of these right now, but know that there are options as far as exporting or sending it somewhere else. You can also click on these three little dots here to the right of that. And I can delete the latest version of the proof or I can delete the entire proof if I no longer want it to be connected to that row in Smartsheet. If at any time I wanna get out of this view within Smartsheet, this arrow in the upper right-hand corner, I can go ahead and click close. It's going to take me back to that main sheet. You'll see here, now there is the proof showing up on row six. So theme decisions is row six. It shows up in blue to let everyone know that there is a proof associated with that row. Okay, I'll show you one more thing here as far as proofs go. If you look on the far right-hand side of this sheet, it pretty much duplicates what we looked at as far as the quick ads on each of the rows, but there's conversations or comments in the upper right-hand corner, the paper clip, which is attachments. We've then got the proofs, You'll see down below that there's additional options, but we can also click on proofs there and it will default to row six because that's the most recent one that I just added. You could also take a look and click on all if you wanted to see, are there any other additional proofs that are linked to this sheet? And you can go and look right there. So in a nutshell, what we've covered today are using proofs within Smartsheet. It's a great feature. I highly recommend using it. Again, it prevents you from having to email around different file attachments or whatnot when you're trying to get feedback. 
If you want to just tag someone with the at symbol, the sheet needs to be shared to them. Otherwise, you can go ahead and send them an email requesting their input. Again, any type of Smartsheet user, including free users, can take advantage of this opportunity of using proofs. I love it. I hope that you do too. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Candace Porter. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I focus a lot on Smartsheet, other project management tools, and then just project management knowledge. So if you're interested in project management or project management tools, this is the channel for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Down in the comments, I'm going to have a link to the Smartsheet Help Center for using proofs. It'll remind you of some of the helpful information we reviewed today. I also have a link to my website and a little bit of information about myself. Have a great rest of your day.